Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can quickly synchronize your Google and Lotus Notes calendars and contacts using OSync. Now let's take a look at what we have here. So here is my Lotus Notes calendar with some artificial events which I have created specifically for this demo. They pretend to be my business events. Now let's look here. Here is my Google calendar with some kind of my personal events in here. So you can see this is a completely different one. Now let's switch back to Lotus Notes and see my local address book. Here are some kind of business contacts I have in my local address book in Notes. And here are completely different contacts in Google Contacts. So now let's try to synchronize those. So let's start OSync. Here is the splash screen with my trial period remaining. Now once I click OK I'm presented with the configuration wizard which will help me to quickly configure the synchronization. Now, first step I got to select if I want my events to be synchronized, certainly I do, so, so now I got to select which way I want the events to be synchronized. This can either be two-way notes to Google or one-way notes to Google or vice versa. Now let's click Next and here I got to define my Lotus Notes credentials my Lotus Notes ID file is already detected so I just got to type in the password okay now on this step I got to define the location of my Lotus Notes mail database it can be either a local workstation or server and usually it is detected automatically but if something is wrong here you can enter different values for sure so now once we past this step we are on the next one when where we got to define our Google credentials so here is my Google email address it is recommended to specify full email address instead of just the username now let's type in the password now if you need a proxy in your network you can set it up here so let's hit next and once connection to Google is verified, you are offered to select which calendars you actually want to synchronize. So let's concentrate on this a bit. Let's switch to Google Calendar. You can see that I have a default primary personal calendar in Google, where I have all my personal events. And I have also created a new calendar, specifically called Lotus Notes Events. This is actually the calendar to which I plan to receive all Lotus Notes event. This can be very convenient in case you have a lot of calendars in Google, you will be able to easily distinguish your Lotus Notes events from the others. So let's select both calendars for synchronization. Now and let's assign Lotus Notes events calendar as the default. You can also enable short message service notification which will actually map standard Lotus Notes reminders into a Google SMS service which will send you notifications to your mobile. Now on the next step we got to select whether we want our contacts to be synchronized or not and select the synchronization direction as well. Now this step is very important it is definition of how you want your contacts to be processed on the first run so you can either merge those so this means that your contacts both from Lotus Notes and Google will be combined together and in case you have any duplicates you would need to clean them up manually and you can also choose to remove contacts on one end and override them with contacts from another but be accurate when using this option because it actually removes your contacts in one of the data sources now let's click next here is the activation screen and you can enter your product key and activate the product in case you've already purchased it but if not you can just skip the step and go further okay so now when we activated the software the configuration wizard is over and now we are ready to run the synchronization so let's do it click sync now you can actually see the phases of synchronization the steps shown in the status bar with the progress bar above for each of the steps you can also expand this window and view the brief log showing what application is actually doing right now. Also below this brief log window you can see the buttons which will allow you to view changed context and change events during synchronization and also view the full log which contains detailed debug information in case you need to submit a ticket. Also here in this table you can see the numbers of events actually being added, removed or updated during synchronization. And also right here you can see the OSYNC uh, tray icon. You can see it's animated now, which means that actual synchronization is running.
Okay, so now when event synchronization is over, we got the contacts synchronized. Alright, so you can see that synchronization is finished now, so let's look at what we have. Let's open Lotus Notes Calendar. Hit refresh. Okay, so you can see my personal events were successfully synchronized in here. Let's open Google Calendar quickly and hit refresh here. Alright, so you can see that Lotus Notes Events Calendar now all has all events synchronized from Lotus Notes successfully. Now let's open Contacts, Local Lotus Notes Address Book. Okay, so you can see my personal contacts came in here. And let's refresh Contacts page in Google. Okay, all looks good here. You can see all my contacts in here as well. So I got my contacts and calendar completely synchronized now in less than 5 minutes using OSync.